hello guys welcome once again from this video i'm starting a new video series on java ee or java enterprise edition so by using java enterprise edition uh, we, ca we can make uh, web application on java and you can uh, literally make any web application on internet you can think of with the help of this java enterprise edition so for more information you can always go on wikipedia and read about java enterprise edition uh, and so all the basic information you can gather from here and i will start uh, this video series from java server faces or JSF so JSF is a new technology related to Java server pages and this is used for building uh, component based user interfaces as you can see here and so we will start learning this JSF first and then maybe in the later in the series we will also learn other technologies related to java ee because java ee is a very broad uh, technology and it requires time to explain everything and i'm also not an expert but i'm also new to this technology but gradually and slowly i will show you how you can develop your web-based application using jsf so if i do any mistake in ex in the words related to java or uh, related to this technology you can just correct me and you can always leave a comment that you are wrong or something wrong is going on okay so now i will start uh, this video and uh, in this video i will show you how to install uh, netbeans ide it is a platform on which we are going to develop our jee jsf application so go on the browser and search for netbeans.org and the page you will see like that and you just need to go here on download and when you go on this page you need to download this you can either download this JEE edition or this all edition so this all will cover all the technologies which you can make in netbeans like c plus plus also php also so it includes so many application or technologies so i prefer to download this uh, all and for uh, after you download this uh, netbeans installer if you are new new to java you also may want to install this jdk in your system to run java application and plus you also require to install jre to run your java web applications so just download this installer and just download when you go below in this page of this download page you will see here this is used for jdk so this jdk is required to run java applications so you need to install this first and then install your netbeans ide okay and now i will show you from where you can install glassfish it's a server and this will we will use in our applications 
in JEE. So go to glassfish.java.net and in here you go just go to the download section. So this is the first page glassfish.java.net and in here on the right hand side you will find all downloads and which download we require is the open source distribution because we want the free edition not the commercial one so just go here and just choose this and on the right hand side when you see here there is a download button so just download it it will require maybe uh, some registration so just do that registration and just download this glass fish latest glass fish for windows because we are building our application on windows and make sure this is a exe file so it will execute automatically and you don't have to worry about any other things and when you install this uh, glass fish on your computer it will ask for the username and password so you just can remember that username and password and that may be required in the later stages when you ex execute or when you install this glass fish so after you install this glass fish you may also when you run your first JSF uh, program you may also require JRE so what is JRE? JRE is a Java runtime edition so write JRE download and in here you will find the JRE download from here so you can download JRE from here and it's it is required to uh, run these Java Enterprise editions so install this JRE also and now I will show you how to set up Glassfish on your NetBeans IDE so if you have successfully installed Glassfish you will see this Glassfish in the C drive of your computer so C and Glassfish 3 and when it asks for the location make sure it's C and it's in C drive your glassfish installer is installing okay so this you have to remember now on the NetBeans IDE how you can configure this glassfish so when you open this NetBeans IDE uh, if you have installed all version of NetBeans IDs then it will in it will include all uh, addition or all technologies will uh, which you can develop in uh, NetBeans or if you have installed JE then you can only uh, run or make JEE programs so open this NetBeans IDE and go and this toolbar and click this tool and first of all we will go to the server to set up the glassfish server for making our first application and here I have already configured glassfish 3 server so it's already configured but when you are configuring it for the first time what you need to do is go to add server and in here you need to choose this glass face server 3 then click next and make sure this path is same wherever you installed your glass face so this path and this path should be same don't click this checkbox because you have already installed this glassfish 
and just click next and it will give you this default page don't enter any username and password here uh, we will if required if, if required we will enter it or edit it later so when i first may enter some username and password here i faced a problem related to connectivity to uh, the glassfish server so in the next time when i run the program without this uh, username or password it run perfectly so just leave them blank don't fill anything here and just click finish okay and i have already configured this glassfish on my netbeans ide which is like this so i will cancel it but you need to do like that okay and after conf configuring you will see glassfish server here now when your glassfish server is already configured what you need to do is go to file and go to new project and in here you need to go to java web and java web application okay and after clicking this web application click next and in here i will leave this uh, name as default you can change this name and give the name of your project here and click next and in here you have to choose your server or glassfish server so i have already configured this server so i can see this if you don't see this you just add this from here and just follow the steps further and click next and configure glassfish server and make sure it's jee java ee6 web selected here by default it will be selected and now click next and we are interested uh, interested in developing java server faces so click java server faces and now click finish and it may take some time to configure your project and start your project and now if you can see here our java application 1 is started okay so once if you can see here the scanning is complete in this section you are ready to test this web application so right click it and click run and when you run this you just can see the output from here it's opening the web application your java database process glassfish server and when all these uh, processes are running after these processes it will open your web page hopefully which will so show this hello from facelets so it takes uh, about one or two minutes to configure so don't worry let it run and wait for the configuration and it's still configuring and now you can see here in here you can uh, see the new page here saying hello from facelit and if you can see here it's on localhost 12932 port and your 
url path is web application which is the name of your project right so in this way you can run your first web application this is just the start and if it uh, creates any problem in running probably you have not set your java db database so what you need to go do is if you face any problem related to this you need to check here in the services go to database and go to J java database java db and right click and go to properties and make sure this path is correctly set up so your glassfish server is in your c drive right so choose c drive and then go to glassfish folder and you need to select this java db from there so make sure this path reflects in your c drive go to glassfish and go to java ee so this path should be reflected in here okay so make sure it's correct and if you face any problem it will go okay so that's how you can install and configure glassfish on netbeans and run your first java jsf application so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now